Uh, you may be wondering why I've got flowers on the back of my Mac, it's not mine. Um, the most useful comment we had at the end was discussing whether um, the Mac or the PC is the ultimate machine to use. Uh, we came to the conclusion that the Mac was of God because the Apple was there before the fall. So, uh, for the thinking ones amongst us, that may make sense. Um, for those of us that struggle with English humour, it is based on intelligence. Anyway, we, we look to the whole issue to do with the That was from Mark in back. Um, you colonials will catch up, I'm sure. Um, the first comment we had was, it was disappointing about Mark's comment on the Bible. I didn't say that, but I won't point to anybody who did say it. Um, some people felt that it it didn't help us to discuss about why people, um, or how people can engage further. Assuming that more people have the Bible uh, makes the assumption that where there's more Bible, there's more reading. And uh, we were just talking about some stuff and we are realising actually in cultures where there's loads of Bible, in fact there's less reading of the Bible. So does, is, does producing more and more Bible necessarily necess 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 mean that we're going to have more and more people reading it? Perhaps or perhaps not. There were some positive things though, Mark, we had throttlers in the room, but we had some supporters as well. Um, they were, there were people who were really excited about the long-term uh, future um, of, of some of the ideas that were presented. Like the idea of the semantic Bible, which was quite fun. That was met with mixed responses as well. Some of the downside was the fact that, hey, hang on a minute, aren't we reducing God and just making him fit into our way of doing things, and we have him constructed around our language and our way, personalising to us. And actually, we could therefore miss whole sways of the Bible, which may actually challenge us at points in our minds, rather than just feed the nice bits that you want about God. Um, and then there were some other other ideas on the semantic stuff that was that was exciting, and as much as well, actually, in times past, we have seen more personalised approaches to the Bible with books um, by certain authors really honing in on. Um, Say, for example, Colin Urquhart's books on identity and who you are in Christ, really looking at specific passages and personalising them. We thought that was good as long as we could embed signposts into those books to a much bigger context. Um, lots of talk um, about how we do church online, uh, but this is a larger, wider discussion. Second Life Cathedral, um, somebody said that, um, oh my goodness, this is a bit first night, I won't read that. Um, <laughs> you know, Mark, you get, you're getting a hard time protecting you, I love you. Um, three points. Instant translation. Most languages are yet to be translated and have not yet been written, and nothing else exists in that language. So maybe looking at um, oral traditions about how we get the Bible. Can computer technology be used to, um, to, to put in written material and then output in um, some audio for those contexts and cultures as well? Uh, presents with challenges and or opportunities, depending on what your glass looks like today. Um, oh gosh, here goes. Oh, this is a good one. Wikipedia. Uh, unfortunately, the downfall is that everyone feels their opinion is as good as the next person's. If the Bible is going to be online and people can add to it whatever they want, who is the authority? Um, does that matter? Should it matter, even if it does matter? And what we can do? What could we do about it if it even mattered anyway? Probably not much. Um, personalised translation. Nervous about this approach for some of the above points I've brought out. Um, this is nothing new, as we said, uh, we're just using new media, um, and that obviously needs to be discussed. Is there any way in which you are praying, developing, thinking, evolving, and living relationships you are having with what is emphasised? That could be helpful. So, say for example, we, uh, uh, the personalised Bible, uh, the semantic one, kind of gathers a load of information about you, and... Um, then you get something that, that relates to you as a person. How can we therefore make sure that what you're getting as a person you're actually digesting and using and dealing with anyway? Um, it's great to have something really personal, but how can we guarantee that what is personally given to you is going to make a difference anyway, just because you got it personally? Um, mm -mm. Somebody brought up that the, the Bible is not just about individual encounters, it's for community. And um, that great battle between what is modernity and post-modernity came up. And uh, the idea that maybe is this lurching back into modernity, it's all about me, myself, and I, and actually I'm not, I should be part of something bigger than myself. Um, online connections uh, delimit relationships. Um, we shouldn't be looking at geographical boundaries. What are the positive opportunities in the next 20 years? How am I doing for time? Almost out. Okay. Um, there's loads of stuff going on. We've cited some stuff from Scripture Union, cited some stuff from where else we've got here? Um, Bible Society. 
Um, the online stuff that the guys are doing in the cathedral sounds amazing as well. How do we create events that cause people to want to read the Bible? So some of the more crazy ideas, which was fun, which was to go and create an event in the town centre, wherever your town centre is. I'm speaking fast now for time. So, for example, go to M&S, buy all the honey that you can get and all pitch up as John the Baptist at 3 o'clock. <laughs> and uh, then create a story which causes people to think, hey, why are these people doing this? And maybe they pick up a Bible, pick up a conversation, interact, engage online. So the idea about creating um, events was really, really important. And so much more that you'll read about on Google Docs. Do you agree?